Pass or fail, you're looking at picture on the right, what gas is being used? It's propane. Two different regulators going on here though. We have a regulator at the tank and this is an underground tank. This is actually looking down on an underground propane tank. You have that regulator there and then over here right at the building you have another regulator. These are the kind of propane questions and things that show up on exams that you can't always get a feel for when you're just reading words out of a code book. The picture on the left, the red regulator, most of the time, just got to be a little bit of careful, but most of the time, the red regulator is called a what? Nick Lafert? Uh, first stage. First stage. Most of the time, first stage regulator. For you, what does that mean? It means that everything on the outlet side of that regulator is taking tank pressure down to 10 PSI. So as it comes along, you have 10 PSI going into that regulator right there. Some of you are going on, why do I have to know about this? Because your license is going to allow you to do it. Just because you get all nervous and wigged out about it because you may not be well experienced in propane, you can do it. No reason you can't do 10 PSI Hopefully you've all realized that there's an exception that it's not, is it elevated gas pressure? Yes, it is, but you don't need all these special approvals because this is one of the places where there's an exception because you're kicking tank pressure down to 10 PSI. Underground, you're going up into the, what do we call that green regulator? It could be gray. Tony Lavati. It'd be a second stage regulator. Yeah, in this case, second stage, first stage regulator, second stage regulator. As you go through your career, as you do a little bit of hard work, learning about this stuff, you're going to notice there's some tweaks here and there, combination regulators, all this stuff, but we don't want to confuse you because they typically don't go into those details in exams. So we're trying to keep you in the basics. As far as pass or fail, it's definitely a fail. Pipes not painted at the building. There's no shutoff valves at the building. I don't believe there's a proper sleeve there. Uh, so lots of stuff going on. So that would be a uh, fail.